Hey, Adam Taxon here in, um, in where am I? Where the hell am I? Oh, Bedford, New Hampshire, right outside Manchester. Now, it seems like the so-called mainstream media is making the issue of the day. Donald Trump and his weight or Miss Piggy's weight. And I did point out in the pregame show, Miss Piggy is actually very svelte for a pig. So I think that's an unfair comparison. But um, I've been spending time in Pennsylvania where my parents live, and it's been clear to me that my weight leaves a little something to be desired. Uh, it's a good time for all the Jewish people out there to make resolutions. And uh, my, one of mine is to lose weight and really just to get in shape because it's like kind of pathetic right now. I know I've been on the road a lot. So hopefully you'll be seeing less of me in the coming Jewish year. Also wanted to point out, um, you know, <laughs> I'd like to see some of these anchor babes, uh, what happened to their careers if they uh, suddenly gained 60 pounds. That's just me editorializing. Even some of the guys, let's be honest here. I don't think they'd keep their job. Freddie Mitchell, uh, the former Eagles wide receiver, I talked to him yesterday. He pointed out that uh, it was a big issue there when Hollis Thomas, uh, the, the offensive lineman, he doesn't even have to run around the field because it was an issue for McNabb too, but he was a quarterback who ran a lot, so his weight was more of an issue. Uh, but, you know, he had an issue with his weight and management made it clear and uncertain, in no uncertain terms that he had to lose weight. Um, so it's just funny what they make an issue. Like, this is about women, not ISIS. Uh, not ISIS coming in, you know, who commit rape as a form of warfare. Um, you know, go figure, whatever. You know, we know the names Kathleen, Willie, Paula Jones, etc. But um, I want to point out one interesting thing. I was thinking about analogies to um, weight being a requirement for one's job when one's job is to be a model, to be in a bathing suit, to be in fashionable wear. I was thinking about, you know, there often is a height requirement for quarterbacks. And I was thinking, how can I work that as an analogy? And what I'm going to say is neither here nor there, but I'd like to point out that Donald Trump was once quarterback of the New Jersey Generals. And whom did he hire after Brian Sipe was quarterback? Doug Flutie, who was known as pretty much the shortest quarterback ever to succeed in pro football in the NFL. At that time, he wasn't given a chance in the NFL. Just something interesting I came up with. All right, happy Rosh Hashanah.